Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. And we fixed our microphone issues, and hopefully yeah. you didn't notice that. So if you didn't notice that... What microphone job. issues? What microphone issues? Chris did a good job editing, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we're back with more. Uh, last we left off, we blinded Warren with science. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, I think our agenda right now is just to poke around, right? I think poke around and go to class. Yeah, I think Max was saying that she has downtime before class. Mm -hmm. Explore the school. Oh, the skate. Oh. You can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Uh oh. That's what? awkward. You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Yeah, we this, don't want to talk to you. This is one of those moments. Okay, I don't think she wants you to. Yeah, I'm Maybe curious. Maybe talk to Mr. Jefferson. Although I am curious if you follow her, if it could lead to an interesting outcome. Excuse but me, Max, can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos, but you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? Oh. <sighs> I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh, yes. I have an mm. actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Me and how she was raped? <laughs> she can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means uh, well, but no. she Whoa! She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. <laughs> but think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? God. I would never make something like this up. Oh my. I have to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen. <sighs> Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Of course. Not uh, believing women. Hold on. I know. I, I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. I was going to say, initially, we want to like him, right? Because he's our photography professor. He <laughs> seems like a very likable person, and I still like Max him. Max is really into him. like. Yeah, yeah, so we have a lot of reason to like him, and I still like him, but he's definitely part of the problem right now of, like, not believing Max, giving Kate hell, and... and ah, I can't go in there. And accusing Kate of, or at least implying or heavily suggesting that it's Kate's fault that those videos happened. Like, even if Kate wasn't uh, date raped or this the drug, right? Yeah. If she didn't get date raped, then Make me beautiful, it still isn't her fault that those videos were taken and were spread around and yeah. people are pointing fingers at her. Like, it's such a silly accusation to make. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. But it's a good... <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh -huh. <laughs> in that case from a narrative standpoint though I think that conversation with the professor is really good mm -hmm. like it's really well done because it's supposed to make us either feel angry or agree with him potentially um, so it it, huh. it it creates interesting conflict oh look at all the things we could have taken photos of <laughs> oops <laughs> although I didn't know that it shows you these things although it's kind of nice because it maybe tells you Funny. what you can look out for because i'm sure not all these things we've seen yet but yeah we should try That's finding more photo to photo spots after hayden gets his paparazzi on 
So wait, did we just take a picture of her? The girl by the window? Yeah. Allison? Do you think I don't remember. Mm. There's so many names. Do I want to talk to them? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Not. Nathan fucking Prescott. Well, here's the thing. We should run the He's a shithead, but we still need to understand his side. Snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Ah, uh, he's oh, in her please seat. Please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Mm. So you kind of yeah, had to. So I won't forget you. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> eh, they don't scare me. They act tough. But we have time travel on our side. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. <laughs> There's Kate. Ah. I was wondering. Okay, but why is David taking photos of Kate? Now, this is so Did he wrong. make the video? No. If anything, I feel like David is also worried that she will be the next Rachel Amber. Ah. I think that's why he's giving her hell, and I oh, think that's why he's being super surveillance with her right now. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. <laughs> I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has. He's a got like explosion play. debris on his face. <laughs> okay. I know you love me. But if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit down. We have to cover today. Hi, Warren. So time as usual. <clears throat> I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. Shut up, Victoria. She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it's a student. What's your problem? <laughs> friend. <laughs> I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. I mean, this is a nice little speech. This is good, yeah. It's a, sort of a nice redeeming moment after us being like, Mrr. Uh, where did this start? I don't know. Oh, right there. Max, wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. No, Chloe, I, I do not wish that, and neither do you. Is, this... Is it too late to rewind? These text messages are usually, like, we can I think the TV most obvious in the response end, to our actions. We like, we get the little butterfly, just... right? But then we see the text, and it's like, Speaking I still feel this way. Um, so while it sometimes feels a little redundant, because it's like, obviously you feel this way. You uh, already made this clear. He's calling me out, right? Like, I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you just know. What did he say? He was saying how um, a few of us haven't turned in our photo for the con test. Ah. Uh, um, and he called Max out specifically. Whatever, dude. Visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Yes. I love black and white photography. I'm worried about her. Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. What's happening? Someone popped into the class and said something about Kate? <laughs> or some said something about someone. I, I, I missed it missed because. It. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh shit. Who is that up there? Oh, there we go. No! She can't die. She can't. Yeah, I was going to say, fortunately, you can rewind time. Or Not far enough Not though. Not oh. Now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh shoot. Yeah, I wonder how far back. Oh shit. Oh. Whoa. New powers. Although I guess it only makes sense that she might be able to freeze time. Keep 
going, Max. This is cool. You, oh man. Can't this changes everything too. I wonder if so this is a huge deal, right? Like to be able to do this. I wonder if we would have been able to do this. Like, I wonder if no matter how you treated Kate, um, she was she gonna would, end up in this. Yes. Yeah, this seems like a very pivotal point. And I think that's one of the reasons why Kate, no matter what is very like, she pushes you away. Even if she lets you help her to an extent, I, I do agree. I think this moment is inevitable, um, which from a narrative standpoint makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of times with branching stories and games, it'll like kind of go out, branch yes. out, but it'll always return back to certain points and it can keep ebbing and flowing like that. Um, but if you keep branching out too far, then it becomes uncontrollable and then you just have this mess of a story and a hell of a lot more work than you would normally have. doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this you're maxed out myself. max max you get another pulitzer <laughs> shot like yesterday max oh boy i mean should we be honest i had no idea what was going on between you and david really so you took a picture to find out how else would i find out You'll find out if I jump right now. Everybody will. Kate, don't. Please. Get out of here, Max. You can't change my mind. My life sucks and I want it over. Now. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. Oh. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you oh, you so did much. erase that still. Fact That's that good. Care yeah. About that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. Only, Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Hmm. I don't want to belittle the way she's feeling. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like there are billions of videos is kind of belittling it. Everyone for, will forget is Probably. kind of hopeful. Be strong is also like. I think be strong is the one that doesn't belittle her feelings, but still is encouraging. I'm but. But then again, the way I would react in real life, like this is a game, and I don't know if like using psychology in a game actually works. I mean, I, I think that's an important part of the narrative and the dialogue. If using psychology doesn't work in this game, then these characters aren't built with psychology in mind, which is kind of bad. So I, I'm on your side. This is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. <laughs> I'll take that. But I'll come with you. Yes. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. <laughs> Nobody cares about me. What? Nobody. What? Hmm. 
Yeah, this is a loaded one. Her mom said that thing about, like, you can repent. So yeah. I feel like that's not a good choice. No, I agree. I don't know what her father said, but... I'm trying to remember if she had a good relationship with her dad based on the stuff we saw in her room. I can't remember. Yeah, we should. I kind of wish we explored a little bit more. I don't know God, anything about her sisters or her brothers. The, the knowing that Max can't turn back time makes this scene so much harder. I think that's the whole reason why. It's like, <laughs> I don't even know if she has sisters and brothers. And, I mean, this even, it was well presented too, because it was right after a moment of like, we had so little time before we realized that this was happening to, to Kate, that it was like, Max kind of like hit her capacity for her abilities to get to this point. So yeah. it's it's a well-presented scenario. I don't feel like the game is cheating us. No, I don't taking either. taking away our abilities just to make things stressful. All right. Well, I don't know what to pick, except not your mom. <laughs> I feel like the answer's got to be either her sisters or her brothers. But I feel like she might not have brothers or might not have sisters. So it, it could be wrong. This fucking sucks. <laughs> you told me about your sisters, especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's Bam. only 10. She does have the best yes. style ever. Yes, yes, yes. I would need to see her sad. <laughs> then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh, <laughs> Suicide is a sin. Fuck that. Yeah, that's such a cop-out response. <laughs> I don't remember what either of those verses are. <sighs> what was the... She had one written somewhere and, like, noted. I know. I know. <laughs> so, this game is a memory Ugh. game. In a way, yeah. A lot of this a lot of shit the in here is about memory. Going with the Proverbs. How proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous. But terror to the evil I keep in no inevitable er, inadvertently bringing Max to this revenge anymore. line, and I don't mean to do it. It just keeps happening. No! Oh, come on! We were making so many good choices. <sighs> Dang it! I. <sighs> I wonder, I, I kind of want to go back to this scene and, and try it again just to see. I, I don't think we will be able to in this playthrough, I but... I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. It's not as principal of hard to figure Academy, out. I take my duty seriously. Yeah. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. I feel like playing the blame game right now is not the healthy choice. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. <laughs> Honestly, that's the biggest thing. All that is what is started all this. Party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. 
Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. What a piece Careful, of shit. Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him. Yes. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A well, I think we shouldn't be talking together. I think they should talk to us one on one. This I agree. Right? Although I, yes, I think it was important you brought it up while he was right. here. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but. I think I can use my power again. I think I'm pretty okay with the outcomes of that. Yeah. Cuz honestly, I didn't I wouldn't pick the other two options. Like David well, bullying her is not like he was bullying her because be he was worried about this other shit, which <laughs> he handled it wrong. But that's not the reason why I Kate was brought to this point. No, and her day. teacher not understanding her is also not the reason. The <laughs> reason is because so she was I mean, drugged. And she was made a fool of. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because it, her parents now are on her about this decision. It's all about this video. Yeah. No, I, I totally agree. So it, I think it's better to point back to the source. Whew. That was a an intense scene, though. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. I wonder if you could have saved Kate. Oh, I think you Come could on, have. Max, do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. <laughs> you were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared definitely validates me. uh why yeah, i picked up the around. phone even though chloe was berating me and like stuff like that I mm -hmm. up today that makes no logical sense warren i don't mean to sound weird but there's something ominous going on at blackwell today proves that and i'm working on proof that kate marsh is connected to rachel amber somehow along with nathan and mr madsen I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. <laughs> so, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? Is it the snow? Oh, the it's an eclipse. The this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. What? I would know. I would. Ah, uh, buddy. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. I had a feeling that this was going to be the end of this episode. Well, yeah. <laughs> Can't get much more of a climax than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, that is rough. Yeah. Yeah, this changes things for David, too, because he probably just got fired. I think that's exactly what this scene is saying. Well, well that and he feels responsible for yeah. her death, I'm sure. <sighs> Mr. Jefferson's getting it, too. <sighs> yeah, they're all coping in different ways everyone feels responsible in their own way and everyone wants to point finger well not everyone but certainly the principal wants to point fingers she probably feels guilty because she bullied her mm -hmm. <laughs> fuck you Nathan 
hate that guy. Yeah, I I imagine he still feels terrible though. I it's probably one of those scenarios of like, if he did drug her, he just wanted to like fool around and take advantage of her, but he never have wanted her to get to the point where she'd kill herself. You know? Right. Well. Oh, sad. Oh man. So, I I I think you asking whether or not Kate's death was avoidable or not is a really important question because if it was avoidable, it changes almost everything for the next episode and the total tone of the game. Oh yeah. Um. So at the same time, though say that this was inevitable it sort of takes out a lot of agency for all of our actions because a lot of what we did this episode i think is what could have changed whether or not kate killed herself um and in a way i felt like we did a lot of things right in fact a lot of the answers that we chose during that rooftop scenario felt like the right choice too and it seemed like the one thing that we said well i guess we said two wrong things but that last one, it felt like it was an all was or nothing hard. one. So it was like, you say one wrong thing and then she kills herself. And it's like, no, but we were doing so well. Well, yeah. And that thing too is I had a feeling she wouldn't want to hear anything religious. But the only choices were like two different verses. And then whatever that other thing was that I was like, well, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. So I think that's a good question of the day is... Uh, well, maybe not exactly that. I don't, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this have already played this game or, or know and what all the like, outcomes could be. You should have chosen this <laughs> thing! But I, I think it's important to talk about whether or not... Whether or not it, it actually is a thing, whether you can actually save Kate or not. Um, I think it's important to talk about whether or not they should have made that an option or should make that an option if, if it isn't one. Um, because this is a game, so we expect our actions to be reinforced by the outcomes, right? If we, if we put all this time and energy into trying to, like, come to this resolution, and it's inevitable that no matter what we do, we cannot save Kate, does that hurt this as a game? I don't think it hurts it as a narrative. I think as a narrative... As a narrative, it doesn't. Especially because... It shows limits to her abilities. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like she can't. Oh, and it, and it. She starts off with her powers, thinking she can be a superhero, and this definitely tempers that it, feeling. It humanizes her a bit. Well, and it shows her she's not all powerful with mm-hmm. this, which is something that Chloe wants to tell her she is. Especially right after a moment of learning a new ability. Mm-hmm. So I think that's true too. So I don't know. I, I think the question of the day then is. Um, maybe what are the strengths and weaknesses of saying that Kate always will die no matter what you do from a game design perspective not even this or, or a narrative perspective I guess I think pros are, and cons of not being able to affect the situation yeah because I think both are relevant in this situation because it game design will look at this very differently than narrative will um, and so since this is kind of the merging of both it creates a very interesting relationship um because, I mean, it takes me back to, like, people getting really upset about Mass Effect, mm. or the third game, because it ends and everyone was like, what was the point of all my choices? It just totally killed the experience for a lot of people. I never played it, so I don't actually know what happened. Um, but I can see this being, like, sort of a smaller version of, of that issue. Yeah. Um, or not. Or maybe the opposite. And maybe it just, like, totally changes the narrative and kind of destroys the strength of the nar- the narrative of the game. You know? It's <laughs> yeah. it's crazy in a whole whole array of, of reasons. Okay. But cool. That was episode two. This is a, this is a long episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a 30-minute episode. Oh, almost. well. But you can't really stop in the middle of a suicide scene. No. It, it, Especially, it would be weird to have stopped right after that because that would have been like a 10 minute episode. So, anyway, Um, we're gonna keep playing. Yeah, we're gonna come back and do episode three of this. Uh, So, we're almost at the halfway point, which is kind of cool. Are there six? Are there six? I think there's five. Maybe there are six. I think there's five, though. We'll find out. Anyway, whatever. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you later. Yeah.